Aleppo is going to hold back. It'll be Ibarra again on his left foot. No defender near him, now in the penalty area. And get it to Campos. Shot and saved by Restrepo, and the rebound over the net. Now the United will look to have possession. They'll switch it over. That's Omar Daly. Going at Raphael Cox, he'll play to the corner. Can he catch it before he does? He does, whips it across. And the open header, and a shot and a goal by Minnesota. As Minnesota looks to attack the goal, leading 1-0 again. Played out wide, a bar, they'll try and chip it in. And another opportunity off the post. Minnesota again, and the rebound. Right foot shot, this one's blocked at the line by Cox, at least a little farther off the line. You can see their, 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 their Achilles heel is defending. Scoring goals is not the issue. However, Minnesota watching them right yep. now. As the defense is being tested again, and it's a two to nothing lead. This time, Omar Daly. Minnesota has a chance to tie them. Yep. They have minus five in the goal differentials. This one's taken by Mulholland from distance. Court flips it on. Barber will run on to it. The defender, Barber's got it, and he might be taken down. He's not. They'll say play on is the referee. Yeah, he's 6'2", 200, he's a, he's a, he's a big, big guy. As Barbara will have it, he'll take a shot and a bit deflected over by the goalie of Minnesota, Hildenbrandt, two defenders on him. He's able to come out of there and he does. He's able to turn into the penalty area. He's across and we're gonna get a penalty kick. Mulholland comes out, right foot shot, goal! Luke Mulholland. The near post just hasn't been working for him. That's to Barbara, heads it down, and it's just wide. But extremely dangerous. Ibarra in on this one. He's got Campos across the middle, and a big save by Restrepo. Rebound, shot, score. And that's Daly again. He's come in, and Restrepo's done fantastic there, and Daly's just drilled it in. He had no chance on that. Daly on the counter. And it's going to bounce over the defender. Campos in. Campos looks to Deke, and he does. And it's a big save by Restrepo. Wide to Mulholland. Mulholland put it across. And that's an own goal! An own goal! And Restrepo's out, but Campos is going to just go at the final defender. And now he's into the penalty area. And now he'll shoot. And now he'll score. Oh. No, wh why? Wh why? He guessed. Not He's really guessing. sure why. It's great to see from a coaching perspective. Well, Daly is up, and he's going to chip it over, and there is the hat trick. All the one ball beats everybody near enough here, right over there, and uh, that's un it's un unfortunate there. I'm not sure. I think it may might be taking up coaching duties in Minnesota with Manny Lagos, but Sprint Prong will put this one off the chest. And maybe it's not done yet. Got to be in front of that post. Any deflection's got to go out for a corner kick instead of off your body and in the goal. As Pablo Campos will get a penalty kick here. And he seems to still be bothered. He's going back down. It looks like we might have to have a substitute. Fontaine is bitten on the jersey. So Campos will set the ball on the spot. And he's going to the keeper's right. And it is 6-3. to three. So Pablo Campos with two more goals tonight. We talked about it the season, and that clearance just misses the foot of wrist off. Tackle, kept in play, and now a nice sprawling save by Hildenbrandt. Luke's corner. Up, headed, goal! And that's the end of the game. The final whistle as Minnesota matched four second half goals to win six to four. I'm just very proud of the guys, you know, certainly a uh, wild game. I mean, a lot of our games up here have been wild, and again, I really would like us to play a little better defense, but boy, did we attack well today. Both halves, I thought we just came out flying, and we really talked about wanting to finish the season off the right way and show that uh, we're going to get ready for next year.